Mr. Simon, a bloke in the woods. I've just come across a load of Jack by the Hedge growing up um, along this uh, ditch here. Um, and uh, what I thought I'd do is collect a little bit of it and then, um, and then make a sauce. Uh, I've got some, uh, some lamb leg steaks and, um, and I've made a sauce using Jack by the Hedge before. Um, and it goes with lamb perfectly. It's a really, really good compliment to the lamb. Um, but what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you uh, what Jack by the Hedge looks like at this time of year. It's, it's very early, um, so it's only just starting to come through. Um, and, uh, and actually it's quite difficult to spot it in amongst nettles, because they, they, they tend to grow in the same places as nettles. So wherever you find nettles, often you'll find Jack by the Hedge um, along uh, field boundaries and in hedgerows. Um, but uh, it becomes quite distinctive looking once it matures, once the plant matures. At a very early stage, it looks, it looks similar to a nettle. So I'm just going to show you the difference between the two. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll go and get cooking. Here we have uh, a common nettle. All right, it has a very spiky, uh, spiky edge to the leaf there. Um, and, uh, you know, they obviously grow very large. Um, at this stage, they're just, they're just uh, new, they're just young, um, so they're, they're not particularly big, but that's, that's what the nettle looks like. Now if you look, by Jack, look at Jack by the Hedge in comparison, uh, it's, it's similar, but the, the leaf, uh, the, the ends of the leaves, or the edges of the leaves rather, are much more rounded. They're less spiky looking than the nettle, um, and the, it's, a, it's a paler green. But other than that, they, 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 look, they look quite similar. Um, so it'd be quite easy to uh, mistake one from the other. Um, I guess the obvious way to tell would be that you'll get stung by the stinger nettle and you won't by Jack by the Hedge. Just um, lit a fire and it started to rain. But there you go. Welcome to the UK. Um, so I've uh, just lit a very small fire. I'm just going to load it up with some wood, let it die down to embers. So we're just cooking on the embers. I don't want the um, the lamp to burn. Jack by the Hedge is also known as um, hedge garlic. Um, it has a very mild garlicky taste. Um, not not um, not as strong as wild garlic. Um, and it also goes by the name of um, uh, garlic mustard um, because there is a slight mustardy taste to it as well. I just wanted to say a little bit more about the um, uh, Jack by the Hedge really. Uh, you know I'm no no expert at all um, in terms of wild food. Um, I really aren't, I, you know I'm really not but um, I, I feel confident in myself that I can recognize certain things um, and, uh, and that's enough for me. Um, you know with regards to Jack by the Hedge. It's very similar to, to nettle and to dead nettle, um, but neither of those two are going to do you any harm either. So, so you know, even if you get it wrong, or uh, well, that's the way I justify it to myself. And you know, even if I get it wrong, I'm, I'm not going to come to any harm by, by um, you know, 
inadvertently eating nettle or dead nettle. Well, all I'd say really is, uh, you know, if you're not sure, if, you're not, if you don't feel confident in identifying um, any edible plant, um, get yourself a decent book uh, so that you can ID uh, plants. Look to see what plants look like when they're, when they're very young in, in spring, early spring. Uh, look to see what the plant limb looks like later in the year, um, so you're, you're more familiar with it and you're more able to identify it any, any time of the year. Um, you know that's what I've done, and it's and it's worked. It's worked well for me. Like I say, I'm no expert. I know a few, a few plants which I feel confident enough to to pick and eat. Okay, well it's really raining now, uh, but um, we're going to stick it out. I came out a bit unprepared, really. I normally bring a tarp with me, and I didn't didn't bring one today. I, I, I didn't think we were going to get any rain, but um, there you go. Should have paid more attention to the forecast. Right, I've got my uh, life venture titanium plate here, which I'm going to use as the frying pan. And in that we're going to stick our lamb steaks. And they're mostly going to boil in rainwater. But there you go. Here we go. There's one. Oops goes there's quite a lot of fat on lamb as you know so I haven't brought any oil or anything I'm just going to stick it straight in and it can cook in its own fat come up as fine as I can Normally it's about two handfuls, I've got a bit under there. And then you need some vinegar, this is just malt vinegar. I'm going to put about two tablespoons, one, two, and then it's just a bit of sugar to taste. So I'm going to put a little bit in, and then give it a mix. Vinegar. It doesn't look like much, but I can assure you this is really nice. I guess it's an alternative to mint sauce. Um, you know, here in the UK, I don't know whether it's the same anywhere else in the world, but in the UK, it's quite traditional to have mint sauce with roast lamb. Um, and uh, you know, not everybody likes mint, and um, this has got a you know a sort of garlicky flavour instead, garlicky sort of mustardy flavour. So. Um, you know, it goes it goes quite well. I think so anyway. Yeah, coming on. Okay, so it didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to, uh, but that's mainly due to the rain. But um, and I wasn't going to cook it in the sauce either. I was going to cook the lamb and then pour the sauce over, or mix the sauce over. Um, but actually, it's still really nice. You've got the flavour of it. The lamb is just, just nicely cooked, still nice and pink in the middle. But um, the sauce gives it a lovely flavour. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit like having a mint sauce. But the predominant flavour is is sort of mildly garlicky um, and herby. It's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Goes well. So Maggie and I are going to eat this, and then we're going to get packed away, and then we're going to get head home because I need to, I need to make another video, um, which you'll you'll see about later on. So keep tuned. Stay tuned uh, for the next video, which I'll be doing later on today because um, I'm going to have a, a giveaway but I'll explain more about that later on. So from a very damp Simon in the woods cooking in the rain 
Um, I, um, I hope you enjoyed my, my failed attempt at cooking, cooking uh, lamb with uh, a nice hedge garlic sauce. Um, but hey ho, you know, it doesn't always work out how you plan it to. Um, but um, I'll see you on the next one.